Alright, so today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a system task monitor. Um, this is Conky, it comes default on Linux, but there's a number of customization options that you have with this. There are two ways to um, mess with your Conky thing. Um, one way is much simpler than the other. So the first way I'm going to show you how to manage that is actually an application that is designed to do that. Um, it's called Conky Manager, and I'm pretty sure it's on the Software Center. Uh, or not. Okay, so I guess it's not on the software center. But it's called Conky Manager, and when you install it, it's under Accessories um, as Conky Manager. I will do a tutorial on how to get that later. But when you open it up, basically you get all of these different widgets and each one of them you can check and when you check them they'll automatically appear on your screen as you can see this is messing with my CPU so we're gonna not um, the only one that I have is process I can have a network one that will monitor everything on my internet network side of it and that's not coming up at the moment so I'm going to assume that one's broken um, to edit this you can edit it in a couple of ways you can use the actual edit thing clicking on the uh, preference icon and it brings up a load of options that you can do you can change the background color um, but it doesn't work for some reason it won't work so whatever I just don't mess with that um, yeah. um, and then if you want to edit what actually appears on this thing text wise you can click this and it will open get it by default um, I'm sure there's an option that you can change that and you can change all kinds of things in here um, right now what I have is I've got a CPU monitor I've got it named brain you can name it whatever you want and um, my RAM, I named it Volatile Memory. And you can set that to whatever you want it as well. And you can change the colors by um, making a tag up here. Um, whatever you make it, when you type it in, I just used the uh, simplest thing, color and then whatever number it is and when you space that's where your color starts so if I put um, yeah, six digit hex code or one of the 17 numbers that can be called to by the name um, if I put that in there and then come down here and change machine color um, can change that to color 4 and then save sometimes you have to save it once or twice before it will reboot and as you can see it changed the color of the machine number um, when you're calling to a color you want to put the color before 
whatever it is that you want to change the color of. For example, machine, I have color 2, which is this orangish whatever color that is. And it will only put it on that until it will put it on whatever you set it to until it is interrupted by another color. So if this wasn't here, this whole thing would be the same color. Um, align right, which is this right here, it will, you put that after your machine, or I do, because it looks neater, you put that after your tag, and it'll align it to the right side of this box. You can change the size of this box, and colors and stuff like that. Uh, there's actually a number of things that you can call for this conky editor. I've got my hard drive up. It tells me how much space I've used and how much space I have total. It, I've got my SD card up which tells me how much I'm using of it and how much I have total. Um, this is my download speed for my network because I was having problems calling to the network card. Um, using the network panel, it would always cut out my internet. Um, I think that's the one that I want. I don't know why it changed that to plus four and that's not what I wanted. As you can see, every time I change the color and save it, it reboots. Sometimes you need to save it a couple of times to reboot the manager. Um, after that, you can just close this window and everything's okay. Uh, to edit the panel that you already have up, you actually have to select that panel before you edit it, obviously. Um, in this manager, you can save themes and stuff. Under browse, you can hit browse themes. I've actually got a couple of themes already up, but if I do that, then it's not going to, um, it's going to delete it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. All right, um, saving the theme. Okay, so I'm going to save the theme and I can rename it later. Um, I've actually made this theme. Oh, well, that was anticlimactic. So that didn't work. I didn't save that theme right. Um, this was the system's theme. And then this was my theme. So the theme system doesn't work very well, as you can see, you can so obviously tell. Um, but there's more to, there's more upsides to this than downsides, really. So, um, that's the first way you can manage this. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for uh, all of the calls and arguments for the Conkey Manager. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to manage it the other way. If, you know, you 
get the bright idea and decide, hey, let's do this. What you do 